Hi, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just thought I'd uh, venture into the world of selling that I do on Australia's Gumtree, which is, I think it's related to eBay or something like that. And um, I sell quite a few things on Gumtree. I have been over several years, cameras and books and, and all sorts of things. And uh, I just thought I'd just uh, show a few things that I've currently got on Gumtree at the moment. And I'll probably flick this over to my Trading Post blog site as well and keep this on here just for your information about the range of things that I've got up there for sale at the moment. And from time to time, I might make it a habit of uh, putting up um, uh, what I'm selling on my YouTube channel so you can have a look. And I know there's lots of people around the world looking at this and they may not necessarily buy from me from overseas, but people in Australia may well wish to. Uh, although I'm quite happy to ship overseas, but the prices you can get for things overseas are probably cheaper than they are here. So anyway, I'm going to share the screen now and just show you what I've got on my Gumtree listings at the moment. So there you go. I just put up these um, vintage 8mm movie camera lights uh, for $15 for both of them, actually. Um, I might be able to show you these are for, for uh, see if we can get on there. There you go. These are old fashioned, um, you, you plug them into the PowerPoint. And um, that's what they look like. I've actually used these to actually use with a digital SLR and they're quite good. They get very hot though. This one's broken, unfortunately. So we'll go back there. We'll go back there. We'll just have a quick run through. I've got a sound system, portable amplifier system designed for computers back from probably 20 years ago, 15 years ago. And I've used this in conjunction with this other one down here. I've got a projector for sale for 50 bucks and this sound system for 50 bucks, not the laptop. And I've often, when I've been taking my photography lessons on the road, I've actually um, uh, used both these things to give me a, put a screen on the wall or something rather and show uh, examples of photography and, and, and my training programs. This one is a, a Kinderman slide projector, a beautiful, uh, well-made slide projector with a magazine that goes with it. I got that up for $50. Most of these prices are negotiable. And people are buying VHS tapes again and collecting them. I've got a beautiful set on the life of birds, VHS set by David Attenborough, produced by the BBC. Got my Panasonic Super VHS camcorder, which does need some repair work, but that's up there. It's a beautiful unit. If you can get that one going, we used to use that for weddings when my son and I first started getting into that. This is an old handheld massager uh, to fix your aches and pains. They're selling uh, modern versions of these things that are battery operated for quite a bit more than $10, but that works fine, plugs into the PowerPoint. And then here, there's a Novus Flex slide copy and assorted vintage photography gear. There's all sorts of things in this little package here for $25. I've got some uh, beautiful extended play records, uh, classical records, opera, all sorts of things there, and, and um, brass bands. These came from my Uncle Harry's collection. And most of these are in mint condition, 45 revs per minute, um, $25 for the lot there. There's about, um, I don't know, 40, about 50 of them there, I think. This is a little, uh, one of those, um, someone gave this to me, which is a little um, electronic uh, photo frame that you can put up on the wall and run a slideshow through on the wall, 10 bucks. Go over to the next page. What do we got here? Uh, some DV a DVD player. This is a nice unit. I'll just show you some pictures of this. Um, There we go. Nice compact unit. Got a remote control, plays all sorts of things on that. And uh, all sorts of formats of media, lots of connections on the back. DVD player amongst other things. Uh, so that's that one there. Get back here. And we've got a book called Borough Boys Will Be Boys by Kevin Kokoschke. Kevin is an older man that I know who currently resides in a nursing home. And he's a quite a, um, an incredible old gentleman. And he has an Order of Australia medal presented to him. He was very involved in, in uh, uranium mine at, at uh, Radium Hill some years ago. And he's written books about that and uh, did a lot of work on that. But um, 
he grew up in the country town of Burra in South Australia, and that's a fascinating little book. He's got several copies of that, and uh, I've offered to this one is just a test run to see if someone will buy it, but he's happy to sell all of them, and the money goes to the uh, the Burra Council, I think, in in um, the twenty dollars. I'll be selling them on his behalf; they're not on my behalf. And then I've got some uh, non-digital cameras, some Instamatics, and uh, a couple of uh, Diana, the old Lomography type. 120 cameras and a few accessories there. This is a book I found recently called The Wizards of Oz. It's all about advertising photography and illustration and, and uh, photography. That's quite an interesting book. Look that one up, The Wizards of Oz. This one here is a, some bird books, Australian bird books that I've put up here. I've got heaps of bird books. And uh, these ones here, The Great Australian Bird Finder by one of my favorite uh, Australian bird photographers, Michael Morecambe. And uh, also by um, Australian Parrots by William Cooper and Joseph Forshaw. It's a famous Australian book, more, more uh, complete book of Australian birds <coughs> and every Australian bird illustrated. These are iconic Australian bird books. Got them up for sale. <coughs> Some uh, pencils, collectible. Colombian Meridian HB pencils, got them out of a shop that my wife's auntie used to have years ago. And they're a real collector's item. There's three packets of, uh, I don't know, about a dozen in each packet. Just, um, I think the HB, yeah, HB leads pencils. Maybe have a quick look at that. I'm gonna have a quick look at the photograph there. Hang on a second. Why won't it come up? There it is. This guy over here. There you are, they're all like that and never been used. Quite a collector's item. There's quite a few of them for sale on the internet I discovered. I've got some old non-used Cibachrome uh, paper, sheets of pearl paper, 10 sheets, A10 sheets <coughs> for 10 bucks. I got that from somewhere. <coughs> a bulk film loader, uh, hardly been used at all. And it's actually got some film in it at the moment, a very special type of film. Look that one up, got a Practica Super Teal 35mm film camera. I've got an old calendar with some beautiful prints by John Gould, Birds of Australia. That's really, um, so, you know, the sort of thing you can take those prints out and put them in frames and put them on your wall. And then I've got an encyclopedia of rock and roll music, a little um, 110 pocket camera and VHS tapes are in becoming collectors well, again this one's worth quite a bit of money I think if you get the right version Pinocchio the three box set of the three stooges and then I've got a whole lot of free um, photography magazines that I've had at, uh, advertised for quite some time and some people have taken some of those off me but I've collected them for years anyway I'm just going to finish there I think that's about as much as I've got on Guntree at the moment <coughs> so I'll flip this over to my I've got a trading post blog which when I do put things on Guntree sometimes I put things on there you'll see um, some of the things that I've sold in the past on there and um, you, you might be interested in that as well so there you go hope you've enjoyed that little idea I do follow other people that sell on uh, uh, eBay uh, Lee Hayes um, is on YouTube and he's gone full-time into selling on eBay now he's got some very interesting YouTube videos up there so have a look at what Lee's doing. Um, I find it fascinating the way he goes about things. So there you go. Thanks for watching. See you next time.